So I saw the question online how to create a fill area that kind of bends to a circle shape and someone was asking if we could create that in Premiere 2. So I wanted to show how to do that and I'm going to work today. I'm going to begin in Premiere Plus 2 Embroidery and the first thing I'm going to do is just change my hoop size. So I can click on the Change Hoop button here and I'm going to come down and most of the time when I change the hoop rather than using these dialog boxes if I'm just trying to set a size I just put a check mark in enter hoop size here. And I'm going to set my width and height. Let me do them both to 200 for today and click the OK button. And before I can bend something to a to a sphere, sphere or a circle, I need to have stitches to fill. So I'm just going to fill my entire hoop with a decorative motif. So I'm going to go to the Wizards tab and I'm going to click on Quilt Block. So Quilt Block has an option halfway or almost all the way down here filled quilt block with no inner shape that will just fill the entire hoop with stippling or some type of fill type. I'm going to click on next. I'm working in a square. It's already set to 200 so I have a 200 by 200 square here. I don't need a cut line here. A cut line would add a seam allowance to a quilt block but since I'm just going to be bending stitches I don't need that today. Then we're going to come to the next button and by default it's going to fill this 200 millimeter square with stippling but let's look at a decorative stitch so i'm going to click on the motif button and when i clicked on motif over here to the right the options button appeared so let's click on options and i think i will use we'll do these hearts how about that and i'm going to make these just a little bit bigger so i'm going to run the hearts up to say 12 millimeters and click OK. And I did that by just rolling my mouse wheel while I was in that field. I could have also typed in. And just because this looks a little uniform for me, I'm going to go back into the Options button. And on the Spacing tab, if I change the offset under Horizontal to 50%, what that will do is offset every other row halfway. So now I've got just an entire hoop filled with this motif, this decorative stitch. I'm going to click Finish. I'm going to go to my Home tab and I want to put it on my clipboard. And I'm going to pop over now to the Modify module down across the bottom. I'm going to click the third small icon, which is Premiere Plus 2 Modify, to open up that module. And the module, that's what we used to call Stitch Editor or Stitch Editor Plus, where we can really change designs at the stitch level. I have, it looks like I have a 260 by 200 hoop now, that'll be just fine for this, so I'm going to go ahead and just click paste. Oh, and it brought it in at the 200 by 200, so when I copied the design it remembered what size hoop I was working with. I am going to go to the view tab and turn off my grid, so it's just a little cleaner here in the background. And then I want to go to the modify tab. So the modify tab, this first section here, is where I can make changes to kind of part to the design as a whole, like overall changes, changing the density, adding trim commands. I have this area here in the center where I can move around stitches or change things at the stitch level. But I want to look here in the third section, which is morphing, and I want to click on global morphing. Global morphing is going to reshape the entire piece. I think under global morphing, I'm going to change my style to spherize. I know I'm not saying that quite right, but and what we're going to see is as I pull this to the right. It set my intensity setting. The further to the right it goes, the closer it comes to a circle. And somewhere, my sweet spot is probably somewhere around right there. And I'm just kind of looking on the right side and watching what happens as I adjust that. So it looks to me just a little past 50% and really gives me the effect that I want. So I'm going to click OK, and now I've created a sphere out of those stitches. The only thing I do want to do at this point, just to kind of make sure this is nice and clean, is as it stretched out those stitches they may be too large or maybe shaped a little oddly so I'm going to click on the button that says break up stitches and just tell it that if I have any stitches that are longer than say four millimeters I want it to break them up into multiple pieces and that just is probably going to have it clean up just a little bit and that's how I could create a sphere out of stitches.